We took a trip to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios, and we tried to find one of these, the Skelligro. And I couldn't find it, so I told my wife we could 3D print one. So I did. And then I handed it off to her, and she turned it into this. And it's functional. It's even got a bottle inside, and it's not pumpkin juice. I'll show you how we made it on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. If you're not familiar with the story, let me give you a quick recap. Harry gets his arm broken in a Quidditch match, and then Professor Lockhart, who's kind of a bumbling idiot, tries to fix the bones and makes them disappear. And then Madame Pomfrey, the local nurse, comes to the rescue with none other than Skelligro. She pours some for Harry, tells him he's in for a rough night. He takes a big gulp and then proceeds to spit all over his friends because it tastes so bad. Followed by Madame Pomfrey's famous line, What do you expect, pumpkin juice? I couldn't find any good designs in your typical spots like Thingiverse or My Mini Factory, but I found this site printing in 3D. And they've got some great designs including... A Skelligro. And a Skelligro that holds a pop bottle, so it's actually functional, which you guys know I like. The design looks really good, but it's going to take some work to turn it into the Skelligro like the movie. My wife agreed to take care of all that, as long as I could print it in ABS so she could smooth it with acetone. So here's all the files, and it's quite a few of them, to download and print. Actually, too many in my opinion. So I decided to bring them all into Tinkercad. And I was going to rebuild this and try to make it into three pieces plus the two arms. And so I, here they are all grouped together, all the different pieces. And they come together like this. So there's four pieces that make up what I call the bottom. One piece in the center and then the head and the neck is the third. And then a left arm and a right arm. And so I decided to group the bottom pieces together. But because Tinkercad imported them very, very rough, I couldn't smooth out the edges that wasn't any good but the head and the neck went together just fine so the next step was to improve this bottom piece to make it one piece so i decided to just redesign it myself i reused the lip on the bottom but the other three pieces i replaced with a cylinder that i hollowed out made sure it fit the pop bottle then put it all together it looked like it was going to fit together perfectly so then i took that bottom piece grouped it together and brought it into simplify 3d I did this also for the middle section and the head. Uh, I set it to a Flashforge Dreamer ABS profile, 25% fill, 0.25 layer height, and uh, I did do a 225 degrees C and a 90 degree as on the bed. Maybe a little bit low on the temperature, but it worked good for me. I've done this before. And 50 millimeters per second to give it a little more time for the detail. Now I did print a prototype first, which printed a little bit faster. But once this one sliced, just the bottom alone took almost eight hours to print. The middle section was about the same and the head wasn't much behind it. Now the two arms had these plates that he designed and I didn't like them. So I just lowered it 0.1 or one millimeter on the bed so the plates were below it. So it's only going to print what's above the bed. So it gives me just the arms and those printed in one hour and came out really good. Now here's the prototype I made. This was printed very, very rough. And I actually broke the lip off the top. But the pop bottle fit good, which is what I was testing. The head went on nicely. So I knew I could go forward. So I then reprinted it with an ABS natural material at a very fine. So here's, here's the design that I handed off to my wife. And then she actually tested her own bottle that she was going to use. It fit. So then she went to work with acetone to smooth it out. And that's why she wanted ABS. She knew that would work. She followed that up with some uh, paints, some primers, and then she did this gloss coat. Um, I couldn't even tell you all the steps she took. It was multiple steps to painting, and she's trying to give it that ceramic look as well. And then she put the labels on it, painted the gold. She just did an amazing job, and here's the finished result. She's really happy with it. I was just blown away how good it looks, and the fact that this thing is usable. I love that. You can pop it off and you know put a pop or water or whatever. She put some tonic water, which literally makes you spit it out. If you want more detail on it or even more detail on the projects she does, she does a lot of Harry Potter type stuff, go to her site, wizardlyfun.com. She has been looking for one of these for years. And the fact that I could 3D print it with this great design from the Printing in 3D website, I don't know, they just did an amazing job with this. And she did an awesome job finishing it. The way she wanted this is what makes 3d printing so special 
If you can't find what you need, you can make it. And functional. I love that it's functional. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I know she loves it. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of these videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon. And if nothing else, click on that CHEP logo down there and subscribe. That's it for this week. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.